YouTube Chicks <laughs> Get ready You know what to do Chicks so listen, Chicks Smooth Hey Chicks Smooth Appreciate all the coverage that you been doing I've been watching your shit for a while I just subscribed to your shit too bro Mano is officially fed up with you cloud chasers We are now officially in the era of tell everything If you had a relationship or knew somebody that was successful and still is successful If things go bad all you gotta do is just go to one of these blog pages, sit down with them, get your money from them, and go home. No longer are people just keeping things solid and keeping things between themselves when a breakup happens. And you know what? Sometimes I don't even blame them. It's a tough economy right now. People need money. Some people are in debt. And if I feel like you fucked me over in our business relationship, I should be able to tell my truth and also tell my side of the story. Now, a couple names are popping into your head right now. You obviously have Dame Dash who constantly talks about Jay-Z. After the Rockefeller split, Dame has been hell-bent on painting Jay-Z as a bad guy. And then you also have Gene Dill, Diddy's former head of security. He's basically the Stephen A. Smith of anything that has to do with Diddy and Bad Boy. Anytime any news breaks about anything pertaining to them, Gene Dill is always one call away from doing an interview the next day. Sometimes if it's early enough in the day, you might be able to fly him out and get him to sit down with you the same day. Mino went on Instagram to call out these people with these cloud chasing behaviors that's constantly speaking on people they had a fallen out with. Here's what Mino said. I don't never want to be or I don't never want to look like the disgruntled old washed up old homeboy, old friend, whatever. Imagine falling out with somebody that you was either in a relationship with, a business relationship, whatever. Imagine you fall out with them and the only time these blogs want to talk to you is because they want to hear what you got to say about another person. Imagine being that type of you ain't got no motion no kind of action that the only time they want to hear about or hear from you is the speaker on somebody else imagine being that and i know what it is you want to tell your truth and i, and I get it you want you've been you've been telling it and, and and i hear you you want to you want to expose some shit you want to say some shit i understand i get it you know but some of you telling your truth for 20 years same shit about the same niggas like i hear you you want to monetize and get lit and all this but i feel like dick riding is not a a viable uh form of transportation you know you're trying to get what you're trying to get but mm -mm. i hear you though watch everybody around you Cause you cool just as long as you doing something for somebody. As soon as you can't do something for somebody, or as soon as you say no, a nigga got a problem with you. Then it's grunts who then he wanna tell all your business. He wanna get on these podcasts, he wanna start talking. He wanna tell all your business, he wanna he wanna bring up shit that he was even a part of. Watch who you call friends, man. Watch who you call brothers. All you niggas running around calling everybody your brother. Watch who you call brothers. Because your brother be the same. That's putting your business out there when you can't do something for him. Now everybody immediately jumped into Mano's comments because they knew he was either talking about Dame Dash or Gene Dill. Just a couple weeks ago, Mano was laughing at Dame Dash's teeth falling out on IG Live. <laughs> Why the fuck is teeth falling out? <laughs> Now, I do agree with Mano. I think it's kind of corny when you fall out with somebody. Next thing you know, the person is on a media platform giving an interview exposing you. But you also have to consider the fact that these days, a lot of these companies are doing documentaries without your approval. So if you don't want somebody else to tell your story, what do you do? Do you sit back and watch a company possibly make millions from telling your own story? Or do you take matters into your own hand, go to any platform that's willing to give Give you an opportunity to speak and tell your side of things whatever truth you think that is especially if i'm not doing as well as a person that i fell out with it's a very strange climate right now you guys got to be careful who you have around you so much you guys think about what mano said post your comments below subscribe to my channel like this video i'll see you guys later man